Hey guys, how you doing? It's Pablo here. Now in today's video, we're gonna go over Camp Cretaceous Season 4. Now just one quick thing, we're so close to 300 subscribers guys, let's try and get there before the end of this year. Now, back to the video. So Season 4 is quite odd honestly, there's a lot of people hating on the use of robots and I'll get onto my opinion of them later on in the video. The first episode starts off with the campers making their way to Costa Rica when the Mosasaur attacks. They get shipwrecked and end up on an unknown island. It's never revealed what island they're on but it's confirmed to not be Isla Sauna. How do we know? Because it's later said that some of the dinosaurs there were extracted from Site B, meaning it wasn't here. The group make their way into a desert environment and walk all day until encountering the first Cenozoic creature, the saber-toothed tiger. Ben leads it away into the canyons where they all scare it away with rocks. They find a hologramic wall which opens a door leading into uncharted territory. The campers enter a redwood biome which has two T-Rexes and these. Now I'll say the robot dogs, also known as Brads, are okay, a bit far-fetched being the Jurassic franchise. It was manageable until they brought in this, a more advanced robot series named Brad X. They are very durable unless they're faced with something like a T-Rex or a Spinosaurus. Yasmina has nightmares of the traumatizing dinosaurs of Isla Nublar, where we see the Indominus Rex, Season 2's Kratosaurus, Toro, and one of the E750s, also the Mosasaurus. In a snow biome, the group meets Pierce, a Kentrosaurus who's in a weak state due to the fact that they're in the snow and ice, where he doesn't belong. And yes, it is a he, the scientist May says so. They basically tow him out of there and have some robot trouble, but they manage to get rid of the Brads and save Pierce, returning him to the desert biome. Meanwhile, one of the T-Rexes is captured by drones and brads along with other dinosaurs which are forced to battle. All of this is being done by Cash, our new villain. Cash works for Manticorp and is the one who blackmailed Sammy's family. He isn't the best villain by a long shot, he's irritating, well, his character's supposed to be that way, and he's easily fooled by Darius multiple times. Cash isn't killed in season 4, but trust me, a person like him in Jurassic Park will not last too long. The T-Rex and Pierce go head to head and each of them deal heavy damage, Pierce jamming a spike into the T-Rex's tail and the Rex clamping down on the Stegosaur's back, damaging plates in the process. Before they can kill each other, Cash breaks up the fight using drones so they can fight another day. Meanwhile, some of the campers come face to face with the Spinosaurus, which has been confirmed to be the same one from Jurassic Park 3. It chases them into the canyons where it can't fit through. The saber tooth from earlier also chases the kids inside the canyon, and as it lunges for them, the Spinosaurus breaks through just enough to grab the tiger, killing it off screen. The Spinosaur chases them out of the desert and unable to fit through the small doors is left behind for now. The group takes some baby dino hybrids into the snow biome where they can thrive somehow. There are three baby dinos, two Sinoceratopses with Spinosaurus sails called Rebel and Angel and a Brachiosaurus named Firecracker. Back on Isla Nublar, Bumpy still visits base camp, awaiting for Ben to return. Darius and Kenji are ambushed by a pack of Dilophosaurus, finally returning to the franchise after 28 years since the original Jurassic Park. They chase after the two of them and they meet up with May, Ben and Pierce. The Dilos are about to attack the five of them and hold up for a second. Are these guys for real? They're really gonna try it with this tank. He just fought a T-Rex and left him looking like <laughs> You do not want a pierce of that. Okay, bad joke. Brooklyn arrives with the others in a snow truck thing and scares the Dilos away. Then a horde of Brad X's surround the campers led by Cash and... <laughs> Kenji's dad, the president of Manticorp. And that's where it ends. In review, Season 4 is still pretty good despite the ridiculous robot stuff, and I'm willing to look past that and enjoy the season. The next is due out next May, half a year away. So far, I rank the seasons in this order, least good to best. Season 1, 2, 4, and 3 at the top. Tell me in the comments whether you agree or disagree with that ranking and write any theories for Season 5. I always love to read your comments. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you never miss another video. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time.